Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, I congratulate the Prime Minister on getting rather further than I thought she would with the uh, assurances and the letters that she's obtained. Uh, but I fear it will do no good because she's up against two bodies of opinion. Uh, one of the hardline Brexiteers on this side and the leader of the opposition and his front bench who think if they call crisis and, and deadlock it will result in leaving with no deal. And the others is a lot of hardline Remainers, largely on the backbenches of the Labour Party, who think if they cause chaos and deadlock it will lead to a second referendum. One of them is wrong. The problem is she's up against both of them. Does she accept that if we lift our eyes to the present chaos and look to what the country needs, beyond uh, our leaving the EU if the House of Commons can t- insists on, con- t- on doing that, we need a permanently open border in Ireland for treaty and security reasons, and we need a permanently open border for economic reasons across the channel for our trade and investment. And does she accept that it is difficult to proceed until there's some consensus for that across this House of Commons, and doesn't look as though we're going to get there by March the 29th, which is a, delay, a date that should obviously be delayed? Can I thank my right honourable and learned friend for his, uh, for his point and for his question. Uh, I don't believe that the date of the 29th of March should be delayed. I think the, my right honourable and learned friend is, is, uh, sets out that there are those who want to see no deal and those who want to see a second referendum and potentially frustrate Brexit. Uh, the inexorable logic of that, if this House wants to uh, ensure that we are delivering on Brexit for the British people is to back the deal that will be before this House tomorrow. And uh, on the issue of the borders and the question of the, obviously we want to make sure that there is a consistently and sustainably into the long term open border between Northern Ireland and Ireland. That is our commitment to ensure there is no hard border there. There would be economic advantage in an open border uh, and frictionless trade with the European, between the UK and the European Union. And that's exactly the proposal that the Government has put forward.